Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Dominique here of domdrives.com here at Lakewood Ford in the Pacific Northwest of Washington State. And today we are doing a quick video tutorial for using AppLink on Sync 3, the new infotainment multimedia system that Ford is offering in their vehicle lineup. So. I'm using today um, one of my other phones. We have an iPhone here. And what we're gonna be doing is just basically doing a, a quick walkthrough of using AppLink. Um, a lot of consumers, um, you know, they're, they're purchasing the Ford models and they're loving the Ford models, but there seems to be a little bit of a disconnect in terms of how to actually use uh, AppLink as well as access the mobile applications via the Sync 3 touchscreen system. So. This is our home screen on our uh, Sync 3 here, and I'm going to go directly down to apps, and we'll be touching over, you know, navigation and Bluetooth connectivity, climate control, audio, and settings in later videos. But today, I'm going to go straight to my apps here. We're going to reject that call. Excuse me. I'm going to go straight to my apps down below here, and excuse my elbow. And as you can see, nothing is displaying in the apps section. So with the iPhone that I'm using here today, you'll need to have your iPhone connected via the USB, and I'm using a 16 Escape, um, in the uh, center console portion uh, of the vehicle. Um, if you're using a Ford Focus or any of the other models that have Sync 3, for my iOS iPhone users, you will need your USB iPhone charger plugged into the Smart Charge USB port for your app link to be accessible. For my Android, Samsung, and the other device users, you'll just simply need to be connected via Bluetooth for your applications to display. So, as you can see here, I do have my uh, Sync uh, excuse me, I do have my USB connected via my device and the USB port, but I'm still not showing any of my applications. And the main reason is you'll need to have those applications running from your device to show up on the touchscreen app link. So here I am, I've got my phone option up, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up Domino's Pizza. And so as soon as Domino's is opened up on my phone, you'll immediately see it display on your app link uh, portion of your Sync 3. So now that that is open, I'll be able to access Domino's Pizza. And now it's going to ask me if I'd like to enable mobile apps on Sync and I'll need to communicate with Ford at least once per month using my mobile devices data plan and standard rates may apply. Um, updates are about the size of an email and the occurrence of updates depend on your vehicle usage and when a new app is found for your device. So again, they'll be adding several several hundred, maybe even thousand more applications that'll be uh, usable, excuse me, accessible via the app link as Ford goes along. So I'm going to go ahead and select yes here. Mobile apps are enabled. Cool, cool, cool. So now I can actually see. In order to use the Domino's app with Ford Sync, you must have logged into the Domino's mobile app on your phone and have selected keep me signed in. Would you like to call the nearest Domino's? No. You can say yes or no, or you can say cancel. No. No. So that was a brief walkthrough. I'm not actually signed in to my Domino's application on my phone, but now I have the ability to access this specific application. And now on my phone, as you can see, it says you're connected with the Ford logo at the bottom. So now all of my commands, whether they be voice activated, and as you can see, um, the sync system asked me if I'd like to call the nearest Domino's. Now I have the ability to, while I'm driving, order my pizza, for example, I click easy order Sorry. here. To place an easy order through the Domino's app with Ford Sync, you must have saved an easy order with your pizza profile. Would you like to order your recent order instead? No. No. So again, Would you like to call Domino's. No. No. So again, that's just a quick example of me not being completely logged into Domino's Pizza and having not saved any of my easy orders or recent orders. But if I go down to menu down below, I can actually call the store 
you know, I can actually track my order on my way home. If I order the pizza, picking up the kids from soccer practice, I can track the order to make sure that the order is going to be ready by the time in which I'd like it to be or which they told me it will be ordered. And then you have the, app, the option to, you know, view my recent orders and then the easy orders based on, you know, having saved previous pizzas that I've ordered before. But anyway, enough with Domino's. We're going to go back home here. And I'm actually going to open up a, another application on my phone. And I'm going to go to apps here. And let's see what happens here. So as you can see here, I'm, I'm opening up Spotify on my device. And uh, hopefully here in a moment, Spotify will pop up. Running a little slow because I'm trying to connect to the Wi-Fi indoors here. try that one again later so from here as you can see I have my my city seeker app open and city seeker is just an app to where I can get you know reviews for um, you know reviews for my uh, restaurants you know uh, accommodations uh, theme parks you know any of that sort of information and so what I'm doing now is you know I'm logging in uh, via Facebook and so my, my City Seeker app will actually update for me here. So if I'm gonna go ahead and select City Seeker here, I'm gonna go yes, allowing for permission, and it's gonna share some information and I'm okay with that. So now that I have the, the City Seeker app up on my phone, and as you can see here, City Seeker, this is my lock screen, I can actually go to my menu options here and I can again I can see, you know, sites restaurants, bars, cafes, museums, uh, beauty spas, shopping, favorites, that sort of thing. And again, my phone is plugged in via the USB port as well as the application open on my device now showing here on my app link screen. And I can again, I can access presets, nearby sites, and I can even change my source. But I hope that you guys found this uh, this quick video tutorial helpful. I just used two quick random applications, and I hope that this helps for you know all of our customers as part of our Lakewood Ford family, as a part of our enhanced automotive experience, to you know be able to use your vehicle in which you desire based on the equipment that you bought. So again, if you guys have any questions at all, you can reach us directly here at two five three. 4740511 or for more information more video tutorials visit www.domdrives.com or you know other videos on the playlist for Dominique Coxon YouTube channel thanks again folks i appreciate you guys checking us out have a wonderful day